Hello, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name is Lauren. This is gonna be a work week of my life. I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video. It's Monday, Monday morning. Just made my protein coffee, got ready, and I'm wearing my new skin set that I shared a couple of vlogs ago, the hot pink one. It's unfortunately sold out, but they have other colors in stock. So I'll link it and you can always sign up for the restock notifications. And I'm also wearing my comfy Barefoot Dreams robe. So I'm drinking my coffee. I'm about to put together my lunch stuff and things like that. Just wanted to go ahead and welcome you back to another video. Christian's gone on a work trip this week. He's on a cruise and they have it every five years and he went on it the first year we were dating. He's been with the company for five years, but he went on it the first year we were dating and it's we've been dating for five years now. So he's on it this time. And I don't know if they went to the same, if they're going to the same places, I don't think so. But I think he's going to Bimini, somewhere in Mexico and then somewhere else, I think. By the way, if you're new, this is my protein coffee. I've shared it a million times. I have a coupon code with One Up Nutrition. I've been drinking this protein coffee for probably almost a year now. I've been using their products for over a year and I'm just a protein coffee girl. I drink it Monday through Friday. Those are the days that I work out. I try and get a lot of protein in every day, but mainly like during the days that I work out just to like add to it. But um, protein is something that I really focus on and I think it makes like the biggest difference in muscle definition. So this is what I drink Monday through Friday. I will link it. I'll put a coupon code on the screen. It's this protein powder. It's salted caramel flavored. I just use the shaker that it comes with and blends it up perfectly and makes such a delicious coffee. So I do this. Monday through Friday. I'll link it with the coupon code down below. I have a running coupon code with 1UP Nutrition. So if you're ever curious, it's linked in literally all of my videos. I have an area at the bottom of all of my links that I do for each video. And it's like frequently asked questions or like coupon codes. And it's always linked there if you ever want to reference any of the videos. I'm actually like kind of nervous for work today because Friday was such a rough work day for me. So I just like have a little bit of stress going into the day to day, which I normally don't have. So because work has never been like this job that I have, like my previous jobs have been very like I go to bed Sunday night and I'm like literally dreading the work day because I'm just like overwhelmed with stress and what's the week going to hold and this job I've been really lucky with and I haven't really had that feeling, but Friday was so just like chaotic. Last week was chaotic. I had my review last week, which was fine, but I was like stressed all day for no reason. I don't, for no reason, because it was fine. Um, Friday was just a little bit too much. Um, it was just a rough week, rough work week. So unfortunately I'm going into today like a little bit stressed. We can't always have the best days, the best work weeks, but um, it makes me appreciate when it is really good and everything's organized and things like that. But last week was not good. This week's gonna be better. It's gonna be way better. I'm just hopeful, but anyways, I have to leave in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna finish my coffee change, put together my lunch, like pull it out of the fridge and everything and head to work. Cheers to another work week. Okay, we're gonna do a what's in my lunchbox. Maybe this will give you some inspiration for meals for the week. I just meal prepped this yesterday. I have four of them. If you're interested in seeing exactly what I did, check out my last vlog, but this is a chickpea Mediterranean bowl. So it's vegetarian friendly. If you're a vegetarian, you can also swap out the chickpeas for a protein of your choice. I just wanted to switch it up and do chickpeas this week. So I have that and tzatziki for that. And then maybe a little bit of this hummus. This is like a garlic Trader Joe's hummus. And then I have carrots as a snack for after lunch. But that's my lunch. Oh, I also have this um, rice in here. It's the hearts of palm rice from Trader Joe's. I don't know how this is gonna fit in my lunchbox. Um, this is a snack. I have popcorn. 
I have a jalapeno beef stick, a banana, and this is my breakfast. It's just um, yogurt, um, pineapple, and then some purely Elizabeth granola. So I just wanted to share what I'm bringing. I also sip on tea throughout the day. These are the ones that I'm bringing. I'm not gonna drink all of them, but I have some roasted dandelion and then some stress relief tea. And then I just bring like a reusable mug. It's a lot later. I just started the dishwasher because I forgot to before I left for work today. Today's just been a day. It's been a day. Um, I didn't really vlog much at work and then I had to go sign tax documents after work and now here we are. I'm about to cook dinner and it's a four ingredient Trader Joe's dinner that I haven't had before. So it's just the sweet Italian chicken sausage from Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. I'm probably gonna do like a bag, maybe like a bag and a half. The vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto, and then a handful of spinach, probably like half the bag. So it will probably be a couple handfuls of spinach, but this is dinner. I haven't had the pesto or the chicken sausage before, so I am very excited for dinner. And this will probably give me dinner for like the next three nights. And then Thursday night, I will cook something different there's no way for me to absolutely show this without it just not looking good but it is incredible if you like pesto the cauliflower gnocchi sausage i think it tastes so good would be good if you wanted to substitute it with pasta instead of the cauliflower gnocchi i think it's so good it doesn't look appetizing and i almost just contemplated not even showing it but it tastes really good it's four ingredients, affordable, and if you're like on your own like I am this week, it will get you multiple meals. Don't let the look of it steer you away. It's really good. So I'm gonna eat this and then get in the shower and get ready for bed. Dirty. I'm about to slick it back. I think I'm gonna put some Olaplex in the ends of it to maybe like dampen it a little. And I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. Hold on, my battery light is flashing. Sometimes I don't always catch it flashing. Anyways, it's Tuesday. I slept really good last night, which I needed. I like woke up and actually felt well rested and not tired which is always just really good on like a work day especially the one thing that's gonna suck about me slicking my hair back is you can really tell when i slick my hair back and when my hair is natural how grown out it is but i get my hair done on saturday and then i finally got one of these little hair wax sticks hair is not looking too good today like looks really shiny kind of damp okay hair is done
Okay, I just got out of the shower. It was hair wash day. I've just been having such a rough work week and it's been rough, honestly, the past couple of days, like towards the end of last week. And it's just, I'm trying to just stay positive about it and um, things like that. But like sometimes it's just like hard. I work under an advisor, I work in wealth management, and I do a lot of the life insurance applications for our clients, and just the process for some applications just takes a really long time, and the underwriting process is really slow right now, and there's just a lot of moving parts and a lot of things, and I'm doing just a really tedious application right now. I feel like I'm done with it and then I'll like go through it and there'll be like a list of other requirements that are needed for it. And it's just a little bit frustrating. Um, and these, these are, this application is the first one that I've ever done through this company. So it's hard to explain when you're not on this like side of everything, but it's just, a, it's really tedious. Kind of just like getting to me and I've just like not been having like a good work week and I'm trying not to let it get to me but some of these applications have been going on for months and I've just been like in this process of continuously like following up with people and just wanted to express my frustration with my job currently. Um, at the end of the day, I love my job, I love my coworker who I work with, she's probably watching this video right now, but um, I'm like so happy, but it's just like been this past week, I don't know what's in the air, but it's just been like weighing on me and it's almost like nothing is going right. And I don't like to say that and I don't like to put that out there, but it's just been a little bit rough. So I'm hoping tomorrow is a little bit better, but I don't know. I just haven't been having like really great work days so when I come home I just like don't want to vlog and I don't yeah I don't know it's been rough it's life though we all have these weeks days where work and things like that are hard or other aspects of our life are hard and challenging and I'm learning a lot so that's the positive part of it I'm learning so much about this industry that I never thought I would learn about so there's so many positives to where I'm at and the job that I'm doing and everything like that but it's just been a little bit rough so I wanted to be honest um I've literally just been locked into my computer at work all day long so I just haven't been there's you would literally just see me sitting at my computer so sometimes it's hard to show me at work because it's literally just me at my computer and I can't really show anything else because the stuff that I'm dealing with is confidential. Yeah, that's just my life this week and we're gonna come out of this learning more and able to tackle future life insurance applications better. So it's all just learning. I'll get through it. Just wanted to express how I'm doing this week because it isn't the best week, but we still have so many more days left of this week to turn it around and have a great week. So. Okay, I'm about to start prepping dinner. I just finished my workout. It's gonna be a sheet pan, super easy. It's just broccoli, chicken sausage, red pepper, 
sweet potato you can also add mushroom but i'm not the biggest fan of mushroom and these are the seasonings so paprika italian seasoning salt pepper garlic powder i need to prep the veggies and then i'm just gonna put it on this big sheet pan and cook it in the oven at 400 for 20 to 25 minutes and that's dinner and then i can keep it in the fridge for up to four days i hope this helps maybe figuring out an easy weeknight dinner option so i'm gonna prep everything and then toss it in the seasoning and put it on the pan oh i also need to grab avocado oil but that's what i'm doing for dinner so i'm gonna prep everything now Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. I actually left it in for 30 minutes and then I had it in um, under the broiler for five minutes. So a total of 35 minutes. I think it was just, it's a much bigger portion. You could do like half the pack of sausage, half the potato, half the pepper, half the bag of broccoli. Probably do it for 20 minutes and it'd be fine. But it was just such a big sheet pan that I wanted to make sure that everything was good to go. This smells so yummy. Can't wait to eat it. And then I have dinner for the next couple of days. So really easy four ingredient Trader Joe's meal. Also the one that I cooked at the beginning of the week was a really easy four ingredient Trader Joe's meal. So here are two budget friendly meals that are easy. And I love that. So I'm gonna eat this and then hang out on the couch. I look so tired. I stopped and picked up a Starbucks today. I just got a hot coffee with a splash of almond milk. I like this because I kind of sip it throughout the day and I can like reheat it up in the microwave like midday if I don't like drink the whole thing. So I usually get a hot coffee so I can kind of sip on it throughout the day. It's Friday. I have my 8 a.m. meeting today. I have it every Friday. Um, unless my boss is out of town. It's 7.44, so I'm gonna head in probably in about five minutes to kind of get my computer set up and everything before the meeting starts. I prepped for the meeting kind of extensively yesterday because there's just a lot of things that are in the works. The meetings on Friday are usually just all of us getting together and going over everything that is like in the process, in the works, and then what happened this week with clients and then what's happening next week. So it's kind of just like a big meeting. So we're all on the same page and we do it every Friday. And then um, Friday I send a lot of um, emails out to people to kind of like update the clients on statuses of their application maybe for life insurance or to follow up and get them to fill out application questions or get them to sign their application it's a lot of that um i get out at four on fridays which is always just incredible like i don't even mind coming in at eight for a meeting because i get out at four kind of crossing my fingers that today isn't crazy last friday was just crazy i stayed late most Fridays are kind of crazy, so I'm kind of hoping that since the beginning of this week was crazy that today will be not so crazy. 
I have all my decks in a row and ready for the meeting. So hopefully today runs smoothly. Anyways, I am going to head in for my meeting and get everything set up. Hello, I just got home from work. It was a good work day, it wasn't too crazy. My hair looks crazy though. But I'm gonna change, head down to the gym. I wanted to go ahead and end off the vlog here. I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow. I just kind of wanted to go to the gym, just relax. I'm gonna edit a video tonight so I can get it up tomorrow. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this work week of my life and i'll try and do more in the future thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye